Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Hollow, and thanks for tuning back into the channel. Today, what I got for you guys, it's probably one of the best and most exciting unboxings that I've done to date on my channel. Ever since I got confirmation that this was already, you know, sent out to me, I've been really, really impatient waiting for it. Um, but the wait is over, and here we have what appears to be a very mysterious box. What could it be? Let me just say that, guys. It's a scuff controller. <laughs> We're gonna unbox this bad boy. I'm gonna show everything that it's bringing, um, all the goods and everything. Scuff Gaming, if you guys are watching this, thank you, thank you so much. I, I've literally, I've worked my butt off for this day for a year and a half already, nonstop every day. And, and I'm just glad to see that you guys appreciate my content and, and, and um, you know, are giving me a chance at just sending me this little, uh, well, it's not really little, it's actually pretty damn hairy. Uh, sending me this nice piece of gift here. Thank you guys so much over at Scuff Gaming. So guys, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna go into my gaming room, which you guys should already know. It's a closet because I game in a closet. Yeah, I know. The struggle is real, boys. So what we got right here is a fantastic box. And um, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get my scissors. I'm gonna open this bad boy up. And um, we're gonna see what's inside here. I, it looks, I do have a scuff controller by the way for Xbox One, which I literally, ever since I started playing with this, it's just literally you feel handicapped if you play without this. So um, I'm very happy since I switched over to PlayStation 4 that now I can get my hands on one for PlayStation 4. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the scissors. We're gonna open this bad boy up. Let's see what we got inside and enjoy. So, okay then, here we go. So we're opening the box and we actually have two boxes inside the box, which I really wasn't expecting. This is, it's getting good already. So this is what we got here. We uh, have a uh, happy holidays from Scuff Gaming. And then we have, which I'm assuming obviously this is the Scuff on the, on the right hand side right here. So we're gonna leave the best for last. We're gonna leave the Scuff control for last. And we're gonna see what we got here as far as extras and things like that. So I'm gonna take off the Scuff this is actually pretty damn tight in here. Never mind. <laughs> We're gonna put the scuff aside and uh, check out the box. And here we go. This is the box. So let's see what we got in the box. Seems to open pretty easily. Oh snap. Oh my God. Christmas came early again, guys. All right, so it's actually a lot of like nice little I don't know if this is confetti, I don't know what the hell it is, but it looks pretty fancy. Okay, so we actually got a scuff controller case. Wow, this is awesome. Oh my God, sick. Guys, so obviously this is a case where you put your controller in here and then, you know, if you let's say you're gonna go ahead to your friend's house and things like that, you can actually, look, I just use this one as an example. You can actually put it in here. You close it up and it actually fits with control freaks if you guys use control freaks. So um, once I get once once I actually unbox the actual scuff controller, I'll put it in here, seal it up, and we'll see everything how it looks. So thank you guys for this extra case that you really didn't have to send me, but you guys are you guys are so generous. So here we have now, I think this is a keychain. By the way, guys, this is not a keychain, which I thought it was. I do apologize. I mean, I've never had the EMR, which is also standing for, you know, electromagnetic remapping. So that's not a keychain, guys, okay? But you can use it if you want to. It's okay. I'm not sure if the camera will focus, but let me show you guys. Let me bring the camera over so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So this is one of the keychains that they, 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 uh, they just gave us. And then this is another one. This is one that goes around your neck. And this is how pretty they actually decorated the box which is actually pretty damn impressive, I'm not gonna lie. So, big ups to you guys again. So let's put this back over here and continue on with our unboxing. All right, so we got the two different type of keychains. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna be rocking this one for sure, especially when I go to my events, you guys already know. And um, we actually, oh my God, we got more things? Wow. We got a 10 foot braided charging cable guys this is so sick man for the ps4 wow as you guys can see it right here these are actually really 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 long they're made specifically for scuff controllers 
Um, and obviously you can take them along with your case if you guys take your scuff controllers, if you guys ever buy any scuff controllers, which by the way, I'm gonna link all of them down in the description. Make sure you guys click all the links down in the description. You guys can go to the website, check out all their products, and um, definitely, definitely, um, this is a must right here, so. Thank you guys so much. Here we got one last thing. I believe this is the last thing in the good box. And this is something that I swear to God, thank you guys so much. I swear to God, guys, I've been trying to get my hands on Gamer Grip because I am a sweaty. Like, I'll sweat out of anything. And I've been wanting to get this for the longest time, man. So now I'm actually going to try this for the first time ever, Gamer Grip. Supposedly, it's really, really good for people that, you know, hands sweat a lot. And that's definitely me. So I'm definitely going to be trying this out and um, letting you guys know how it works for me over on my Twitter. Wow, this is awesome, man. This is literally, I'm really excited about this. Thank you guys so much. All right, guys, so I cleaned out the desk, the other box that came with this one, I put it on the side, um, just so we could focus at the moment for the scuff controller. Right here is the scuff controller for PS, and um, it's basically for the PlayStation 4. That's what it stands for, if you guys didn't know. But um, here's the box, it comes in a box like this, and then basically you just kind of slide it, and then you have the original box, and then the box inside, comes like this and this top comes off like that like so so inside the box we have a few things basically just some introduction to scuff you know thank you for purchasing scuff then it gives you a little bit of details and then we have another one which is basically telling you you know what the scuff does for you and things like that which is pretty cool so this is actually such a beautiful controller guys this is again scuff if you're watching this thank you so much i appreciate you guys so so much you guys have no idea how much i love your your products man like oh my god thank you so much so here we have the scuff and in our hands we have the official black ops 3 zombie scuff controller it is one beautiful beautiful thing you guys can see it right there. It is absolutely lovely. Basically, what we got right here, as you guys can see, is a controller. Um, this particular scuff, the Black Ops 3 Zombie scuff, it doesn't have uh, on the buttons. It doesn't really, you know, display the triangle, the square, the circle, the X. It just basically has it all black, which I personally like like that. So right here on the left-hand side, I decided to go with the control disc, which is basically the same thing as the D-pad. You could literally just put it on and take it out. The D-pad is still there, guys. It just comes off. Um, but I think it's a little bit more comfortable just to have kind of like a circular motion instead of having the you know four different D-pads. It's just kind of easier on the finger. Now, obviously, that's going to benefit you more if you play games that require you guys uh, to use the D-pads, such as perhaps you know Street Fighter or games like that, right? So here we have obviously uh, two regular thumbsticks. You could get scuff controller thumbsticks. Um, they come in both concave and convex. I decided to just stick with control freaks. I like my left thumbstick normally. I never put anything on my left thumbstick. And then on the right, I'll probably be putting my uh, control freak joystick there. So um, that's how that's gonna work. And then obviously, here we go to the back and we actually have both paddles. Now the configuration for the paddles that I chose was as follow. The left paddle is going to have X, which is A for Xbox, which is for jumping. And then the right paddle is gonna have the melee weapon. Now this is talking about, you know, Call of Duty wise. So just because the whole purpose of scuff controllers is to basically make you uh, do things a certain way without having to, uh, you know, go crazy, right? So you can basically multitask easier and quicker and more effective with scuff controllers. So let's say for instance, you guys are in a gunfight and you're you're aiming at somebody, maybe one or two people. It could be multiple people and you're aiming, but then again, there, there's a need for you guys in the game at the moment for you guys to jump if you don't have paddles in the back of your controllers you have your thumb here but then you gotta let go of your thumb and go for the x button or the a button also known as the jump button and once you do this you literally just screw up your entire aim right so that's basically the whole science behind uh, scuff gaming and the scuff paddles that's basically what they're most known for their paddles um, as well as for the A button, you have the melee button, which allows you to melee without having to let go of your aiming, right? So you have both paddles, you got the jump and the melee. Now do keep in mind, me personally, I bought an EMR, which is basically allows you to configure these back paddles to whichever one you want. So like, let's say today you want A here, and then maybe tomorrow you want B here. You can actually switch them up with this thing right here. And it actually comes with an instructions manual, which is really, really long. This is the first time that I've used it. Um, so I really couldn't sit here and tell you specifically how it really works. If you're on Xbox One and you wanna get a scuff controller, I really, really recommend the trigger stops. You know, you don't need trigger stops for PlayStation uh, because you can simply just swap out you know, your L1 and R1 with your R2 and L2. So you don't really need trigger stops. But for Xbox, I really recommend you guys swapping those out for trigger stops because it allows you to react quicker, not only just aiming, but shooting because you don't have to, literally, you don't have to press the trigger all the way down on your Xbox One. So I really, really recommend that as well as 
another thing that i got in this scuff is actually i removed the rumble pads so basically the controller is a lot lighter like i literally got it i'm like yo where are the batteries you know but then i remembered the controller doesn't bring any batteries you know it's the playstation 4 controller it doesn't bring any batteries you can also take out the rumble pads for either the xbox one or the playstation 4 controller it doesn't matter you can take them out for both controllers i think xbox 360 as well you can do that so definitely definitely a very very neat feature now the last feature that i got with this scuff controller is the scuff grip guys it allows you guys to grip the controller better if you guys are like me whether you record record video games and edit them on YouTube and you're all day grinding to make videos and get better gameplays you know or you're just a casual player that enjoys to play a lot um, and have sweaty hands uh, the scuff grip really does help you out and it's it's just an essential that I think every person that buys a scuff should have so yeah as you guys can see this is the official black ops 3 zombies scuff 4 PS it's really nice man it's a nice feature and I definitely, definitely am very, very happy with my brand new scuff. So thank you guys so much over at Scuff for sending me this again for the third freaking time. All right, guys. So just to recap of what we got, we got the keychain. We got this, which is not a keychain. <laughs> it's actually for the EMR, the electromagnetic remapping of the scuff paddles. We got gamer grip. We got a 10 foot charging cable for our beautiful Black Ops 3 Zombies scuff controller with our very own scuff controller case. So guys, I mean... I don't think it gets any better than this. I think this is probably the number one uh, gaming essential to, you know, basically better your game. Like, scuff controllers really, really do work. It allows you to do multiple things at the same time without affecting your aim. That is basically the main purpose of a scuff controller. And I definitely, definitely recommend to every single player out there that really does enjoy playing Call of Duty. And not just playing Call of Duty, but doing well in Call of Duty. Especially Call of Duty Black Ops 3, man. The new mechanics, the new movements. You can totally, totally take advantage of, uh, you know, the whole entire scuff mechanics. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Scuff, again, thank you so much for letting me uh, share this video with my subscribers. Sending me this crazy amount of goodies. And I am forever thankful uh, to you guys over at Scuff Gaming. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have a scuff, comment yes or no in the comments section below. If you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next video.